We are doing more of these line of best fit questions and predictions using the model. So we are looking at a graphic which has the y-axis of city miles per gallon and then the weight of the car in pounds on the x-axis. So this is a scatter plot of weight versus the uh, city uh, MPG. So we're looking to predict what the car's weight would be if the miles per gallon was 35 miles per gallon. So basically we're going to go up here to our miles per gallon. Look for 35, which is right here, and we're going to estimate approximately what the weight is. Now, if you see the line, the line of best fit is just below it. So that means that it would be a little bit before this point right here. So if I'm looking at this kind of the way that it is, 2,000 is the lowest point here. This is spaced out by 500, so that would probably mean that that's about 1,500 as far as the weight goes. And so this is probably, you could kind of get away with 1500 maybe, maybe a little bit less. Maybe you would say 1440, 1450, somewhere in that vicinity. And that would be an okay answer for this. And is that reasonable? Yes, because based off of this data, you're looking at it and you can see, I mean, you do have some scatter plots, really, really high scatter plot points up here, down here. But generally speaking, this is going in a negative direction. So as the uh, weight of the car is getting higher, the gas mileage is going down. So you probably would expect the gas mileage to be a little bit higher for a lighter car. So then the next question is asking me, what's the predict prediction of the miles per gallon if the car weighed 2,000 pounds? So again, 2,000 pounds, we already have that on our graph. So if I'm going right here, I'm basically just going to follow this up and then follow it over here. And predict because it's a little bit higher than 30. I mean, 30 might be a reasonable prediction as well. 32, maybe 31, that kind of range, basically that range of items I would say would be okay. And again, based on the model and what we're seeing with the general speak of it, that's probably okay with an answer. 30 to 32-ish would be a good answer for that question. And the last question does say, can a line of best fit be extended forever in both directions? And would that make sense with this context? Well, if I'm thinking about the car weight, eventually, if I kept going backwards with this, you're going to have a weight of zero or a weight that just doesn't make sense because you can't have that in the negatives. And then obviously the same thing happens with your gas mileage. You can end up going down in that direction. Eventually you would end up in the negative values and that wouldn't make sense either. So that's your rundown on how to answer questions on a prediction model with a line of best fit. If you want more questions like these, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at U1Algebra. All these are located in my scatterplot and statistics playlist. Don't forget to like, share, follow me for more. Save it for later, and I'll see you soon.